Good morning, Winchester Village. Happy Tuesday, February 20th, 2024. I hope you had a nice day off and you enjoyed your President's Day holiday. I hope you were able to rest and relax and are ready for the next few weeks at Winchester Village as we prepare for spring break. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance led by Mrs. Claude Felter's second grade students. Great job, second graders. Please remain standing for our moment of silence. It's a Thinking Tuesday, and my question for you today is, would you rather live in a treehouse or an igloo? So let's bow our heads and think, would I rather live in a treehouse or an igloo? Let's bow. Great job, everyone. I personally would rather live in a boxcar. If you've read The Boxcar Children, that is one of my favorite books as a kid. I'd rather live in a boxcar from a train. All right, our lunch choices, our salad choices for the week. We're skipping Monday because we weren't here. Uh, Tuesday is taco, beef taco, uh, or yogurt muffin and string cheese. Wednesday is mozzarella sticks um, or spicy chicken salad. Thursday is French toast sticks with egg extravaganza or um, beef taco salad with tortilla chips. And Friday is personal pan pizza or popcorn chicken salad. Teachers, feel free to pause the video at this time to make your lunch choices. If not, I will continue on. Today is beef soft taco with corn refried beans, yogurt muffin and string cheese, peanut butter and jelly encrustable, fruit and milk. We've got some students celebrating their birthdays today. A special happy birthday to Chase Gadot. And Jake Lynn is celebrating a birthday. Those friends should stop by the office for a birthday surprise. All right, make sure you've got your bus lanyard with you everywhere you go. You need it to get on and off the bus safely. You need it to move quickly throughout the cafeteria. And let's make sure that we are taking good care of the restrooms. We're throwing our toilet paper in the toilet. We're throwing our paper towels in the trash can. We're not getting water or pee all over the floor. Um, and that we're being safe and we're keeping our restrooms in good shape. Um, I know the other day we had someone who marked and wrote words on the wall. So please make sure when you go to the bathroom, just use the restroom, wash your hands, and come back to your teacher. And let's make sure that we are being safe on the bus. As you know, on Friday with the snow, our roads were a little dangerous and our bus drivers did a really great job of keeping us safe. But one of the things that really helps us is when boys and girls are doing their best on the bus. That allows your driver to focus all of his or her attention on the road and making sure they get you home safely, not worrying about bad stuff happening on the bus while they're trying to take care of dangerous roads. So make sure you're following the bus driver's directions at all times. All right, um, I actually wrote down uh, the top classes and I left that in the other room, but I do know that in, I believe it is third place of our grade level competition, I believe fifth grade is in third place, second grade is in second place, and fourth grade right now is in the lead of the class, the grade level that has read the most books. And in our classrooms, in third place with, I think, 66 books was Mrs. Bryant. In second place with 79 books was Mrs. Newmeyer's second graders. And in first place with, I believe, 99, 95 books was Mr. Watts's class. So great job. In two weeks, we have turned in over 742 of those reports, which is almost halfway to our 1500 goal. So keep up the great work. We had nearly 600 books reports turned in last week. Keep up the great work. We'd love to meet our goal of 1500 and maybe even go higher. So keep up the great work. And don't forget, we've got one year left or one month left to buy a yearbook. Uh, remember, our yearbook shows us memories of our friends, of people and places that we did um, in the previous school year. You know, you want to buy a yearbook now because for one, 
Uh, we don't order a lot of extras and then they also cost more. So buy your yearbook now uh, before we run out. All right, usually on today, we'd be doing our Students of the Week, but unfortunately, we ran out of time on Friday. Uh, so I want to recognize Bienfa and Negeza from Mr. McDuffie's class. Um, so I was in a third grade lunch the other day, and um, Miss Miller and Miss Ray were cleaning up the cafeteria, and Bienfa and Negeza were going around uh, helping sweep underneath the tables and get the big crumbs and the trash and Mrs. Ray and Mrs. Miller said that nearly every single day, Bienfa and Negeza go around, they help clean up, they help sweep, um, they do this all on their own, um, and that just helps keep our school in great shape. Thank you for being good leaders. Thank you for seeing a problem and fixing it. Um, thank you for making sure our school looks great. So way to be leaders. I'm so proud of you two. Keep up the great work. All right, don't forget that our music festival is three weeks away and um, tickets are for sale for $2. Teachers, please don't send anyone down till after 10 o'clock. Um, that just helps kind of smooth out our morning office business. Um, but remember, students need to come to the cafeteria or the office with their money. Mrs. Tasker will give them their tickets um, and we are not able to put money in folders. All right, we had a pretty good day on Friday, so I would love, 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 love to have a terrific Tuesday. That means we're listening to our teachers. We're showing kindness and respect. We're keeping those hands and feet to ourselves so we can have a wonderful, terrific Tuesday. So let's make it a great day. Uh, Wildcats, the choice is yours. Bye, everyone.